Hello, wow, I've just realized it's been seven months since I last did a video, which is really bad. Um, so I'm so sorry I've not done anything sooner. Um, I guess just life really, I've been, well, I've been meaning to for a little while, uh, just with some updates, just with how things are going with Axonics um, and some positive news, which is really exciting. Um, so firstly is that I've had my new wire um which was just over two weeks ago um so it was two weeks wednesday and we're now friday today um and yeah everything went to plan as far as i'm aware uh, they were able to remove the original wire um implant the new one down the other side of the spine and connect it to the um the original battery which is good I have to say though I did find um recovery this time round was a little bit tougher than before and I guess there's um a lot of upset that happens when removing the original wire um and then obviously implanting the new one and then fiddling around with the battery as well so uh, it's kind of understandable that I was a bit had a bit of discomfort but not only that I think where the surgery took longer I was on my front um for a, quite a bit longer and I just, the, the following day, I just had such a painful kind of chest. And I think where my head had been kind of twisted and with tubes down my throat, my neck and everything hurt. I literally woke up and I was just like the next day and I was just like, oh my God, I felt like I couldn't even move. Um, but that all settled like within a couple of days. Um, I was so strict with myself this time. I was like, I'm not going to screw this up. I'm literally going to do as little as possible for two weeks. Um, which I did. I took two weeks off of work. I was like, I've, you know, I've got to make it work this time. Um, and I just rested. I did a lot of just in bed on the sofa. That's quite uncomfortable being in bed. She can't lay on your back. Um, but if anybody is going to have it done, pregnancy pillow. I really wish that I'd invested in one of these the first kind of time round because this has been a saviour. Um, just not being able to sleep on your back it just makes it so much more comfortable um sleeping on your side so yeah i highly recommend one of these um but yeah i just made sure i did very little um i literally didn't leave the house for two weeks it just felt like lockdown um it was a bit weird really my husband would go to work and i'll be here all day on my own with the cats and and that was that but um but no after a week i started to feel pretty good um I mean, I stopped taking painkillers probably about three days after the surgery. So uh, the pain was quite reduced quite quickly, which was good. Um, and um, yeah, everything seemed to have been all right so far. First week, I was really looking for those changes. Um, just I kept comparing it to the trial, basically, because when I had the trial, it took exactly a week before I saw a positive change. So in my mind, I was like, okay, Wednesday's the day. Wednesday's the big day. Anyhow, Wednesday came round and I really didn't see much of a change. And I was like, oh, this isn't great. And then even the next day, I think I had a really, really bad day. And I, I went like something stupid, like five times in an hour and a half. And it's just like, why? There's absolutely no reason for my bladder to do that. Um, but that's what it does. And uh, yeah, I got a little bit down about it. And I was like, why isn't it working? And then I contacted Matthew who's um been the new Axonics rep who's been really good so far and he just kind of reassured me and said you know it's early stages don't worry and as I know there's so many programming options as well so not to not to stress so I've just left things and nothing really changed still and then this week I've started to see some changes so on Wednesday, which was my first day back at work, I had a really good day. Um, so for me, when I'm at work, I'm at work for what was it, eight hours and I would go seven, eight times to the toilet and I went four, four, which is what I got down to when I had the trial. So that was really good. And the whole day in all, I think I went, it was like seven or eight times. So that's amazing when normally I would go like 17 plus um so I was really really excited and then the following day it just 
disappeared it felt like I just had well it didn't disappear but it the results weren't as good I, I found I was going to the toilet a lot more um I kind of had those stronger sensations to go um and I was just like oh no not this again like I can't cope with this again like what's happened and then I got in touch with Matthew again and he was just like it's early days don't worry about it and everything's still settling obviously I've there's been a lot that's happened in my poor lower back um recently so it's you know things are going to take time and and the thing is I can't keep comparing it to the trial because it's down you know different side of the spine different nerves so things are likely to be different um and anyhow he was right because I've had good results again today which is so exciting um, I've literally, so right now it is uh, six o'clock, I've been keeping a log um, and I've been four, five, four, five, six times so far, which is really good. It's really, really good. Um, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, sensation wise, I'm getting a bit of a bit of a twitch in my toe which I had before but it's kind of my toe and my foot which I had before uh it kind of comes and goes um and I feel kind of the general sensations down below um so everything kind of feels like it was which is really positive one thing that I have noticed is that I'm just able to hold it for much longer and what I've been trying to do as well is is break the habit because obviously when you've got such a weak and naughty bladder like I've got you always go as a backup anyway because you know if I'm going to do a car journey I'm always going to go before I leave the house because I know that I can't trust it I can't trust that I can hold it um so it's kind of breaking those habits as well that I've been trying to do so not go when I you know leave the house or if I leave work um and you know if I feel a slight urge to go and I just hold it basically hold it as long as possible and usually I would have very very little time in between needing to go and really having to go um but now it's kind of like okay I feel like I could go but I'm not desperate um I'm just gonna wait see how things go and then I find myself busy and you know I find that an hour hour and a half has passed and it's like wow like this is really good this this is like the trial this is what i need this is what i've been waiting for so different day different outfit um part way through that video my husband actually came home from the gym and i stopped recording and then i just didn't pick it back up again and here we are over two i think it's two and a half weeks later um and i'm finally getting around to finishing it <laughs> so which probably isn't a bad thing um, because it's given a little bit more time for things to settle, uh, for everything to kind of recover and just to give the results um, a bit more time. Um, so how things are going? Things have been a little bit up and down. Um, I would say overall it's still it's still better and more positive, um, which is good. I would say uh, it's on a good day, I'm going around about kind of seven, eight times um, or more kind of eight, nine times actually. And then on my bad days, which actually really aren't that bad when I compare them to when I didn't have um, the implant, I'm going around about kind of 12, 13. Um, as for before, it was kind of an, a good day was kind of 17. So um, there's a real big difference there, which is, really good i'm still finding that i feel um an urge to go uh quite often but the real difference is that i'm just able to hold it for much longer um before i would have very little time um and now i've been finding that i have that kind of urge i'm like okay this is fine i'm not desperate i can wait and then before i know it an hour and a half maybe even two hours has passed so it's just kind of kicking that habit um and just holding as long as possible and almost having to to re i guess retrain my bladder again everything's healed really well um i'll put a little picture up so you can see how it's looking so this is just over four weeks um since the surgery 
and you can see there everything's nice and clean um it's healing really well i've still got a teeny tiny bit of glue on there um because i think they actually put in some dissolvable stitches and then glue over the top and i've just done as i was told and i've just left it i've just let it fall off on its own uh, there's been a couple of times where my husband's had to kind of like snip little bits off because they're kind of hanging on there and, and catching on clothes which really wasn't very nice um but it's healed so nicely and um yeah really really good So I've only had to charge once since um, since the surgery and I actually charged it the night before the surgery so it had full power um, and I was kind of expecting it to last a little bit longer but I guess during the surgery they do kind of tests and that would have drained a little bit of the battery. Um, so now we are yeah just over a month wow that's absolutely flown um and i've been pressing it daily because i'm like oh i've got to need to charge it soon surely but it's still green and it's fine so i'm just going to kind of check every couple of days now um and just charge it as soon as it starts flashing really so overall i'm really happy um it's really exciting that i'm actually seeing these changes and everything seems to be going in the right direction it's not perfect. I don't expect it to be perfect, um, but maybe we can improve things a little bit uh, through programming just so that there's hopefully a bit more consistency because um, it's a little bit frustrating. It's still not bad, um, as I say, the bad days, but it would just be nice if I could just trust that it could be good the majority of the time, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. I had some really lovely people uh, reach out to me through my previous videos. Uh, quite a few people actually messaged me on Facebook and I felt awful because they were sat in my um, requests and I didn't even know for quite a long time. So I did eventually get back. Uh, but my thoughts are obviously not everybody wants to, to ask questions in the comments. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an Instagram page. Uh, I'll call it Axonix April, nice and easy to find. Uh, if anybody does have any questions that they want to ask about the procedure or getting the wiry done or or anything at all um, i'll do my best to, to answer what i can and not forgetting the facebook page um, that has been set up for axonix uh, which anybody be can become a member of it's a, a closed group and you can ask questions there's loads of people on there who've um, had the procedure done looking to get it done and it's just nice to to talk to other people that are going through similar things, really. Um, and what was quite nice for me is that uh, someone who contacted me, uh, it turned out they were having their trial done literally the day before um, I had my wire redone. And it was really nice to have someone to talk to um, in the lead up to it and also after as well. So I'm going to stop waffling on now because I tend to do that. Um, but to wrap things up, overall, I'm really happy um, to finally be seeing some improvements. And who knows, they may improve even more with programming. Um, but fingers crossed, this is now my friend for life.